What's going on, everybody? Welcome into what you heard. Spotlight. Y'all know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to become part of the tribe. Do us right. Hit that like and comment because you're rocking with the content. Now, we got a fire spotlight for you guys on the heels of one of the best animated series so far. Hands down. Hands down. Make sure if you haven't watched our review on this movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, mm-hmm. go check out the go review. Check it out. Go check it, it out. It does have spoilers. Oh, so it's, you just it's all watching, major spoilers. You yeah. just watching to see what we thought and then either agree or talk some smack if you disagree. It's all good. We would all that. Right. <laughs> we would all that. But they came out with a soundtrack. Metro Boomin, man. Metro Boomin did the soundtrack. Metro Boomin, man. And uh, and yeah. we gonna get into this, yeah, man. Yeah. A little spotlight, you know, what I mean, a little just spotlight of Metro Boom and doing it. Yeah. across the, uh, the Spider Verse, man. Yeah. Little soundtrack, man. Uh, I don't want to go track by track. I, okay. I think the, the the best way to kind of talk about this is with the movie in hand. Okay, because I think it's I think you guys can go listen to this project or soundtrack. I should so, uh, should say. Anytime you want, without seeing the movie, yeah, and it's fine, mm-hmm. and it and it, it does its its thing. It, obviously, it's talking a lot about Spider Man, yeah, right for sure. But there's a lot of it. It's it's a nice. There's positive messages and all that kind of stuff in it. So it's, it's really great. It's really great talent that's doing this. But man, like I kind of want to talk about. First off, let's talk about Hummingbird. Bro. Okay. Let's talk about Hummingbird. Because that's both of our one of our favorite songs yeah. on here, bro. So so we we had we had the pleasure of listening to the soundtrack before we saw the movie. Mm-hmm. And then once we saw the movie we were it, it just it elevated the soundtrack. It did. Um, it made it different. Now not everything on the soundtrack is in the movie. Um right. and so but there are some that hit and the, and the number one song that hits is Hummingbird, Metro Boomin and James Blake. And the reason yeah. it hits, it hits because it's literally such a pivotal moment in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people, if, if you are aware of like hummingbirds, it, it's, there's a lot of different meanings out there, but it's like change, like, like mm-hmm. good things are coming. Change is coming. Um, and, and I have a personal, uh, attachment to hummingbirds as well through, uh, members of my family that I that I loved and have lost that were loved hummingbirds, mm-hmm. um, and so the song itself is James Blake. It's vibes. It's all of that. But then within the movie, the actual message of the song hits. It's amazing, man. It's so good. It's so well done. Because he's because Miles is like laying in bed, man, and he's thinking about Gwen, who's his hummingbird, mm-hmm. and she f- comes through a portal, man. You know, no. Nope. Got the headphones on. Sorry, a little spoilery. Try not to do too many spoilers in here. If you want right. to, you know, go watch our review. But uh, that that particular scene where she's hovering over him, he's got the headphones on, and he's listening to the song. It's just so beautiful, man, it is. It, and it's so well done. And it, and that's what I love about music, man. It really enriches that particular scene, right? You know, you you it would have been fine without it, but it, it just made it that much better because of. Lyrically, what James Blake is talking about, yeah, about mm-hmm. being, you know, where's my hummingbird? But you know, yeah, and she's there, yeah, right <laughs> and there. It's so beautiful, it man. Is. It's just so good, and it, man. Now every time I listen to this song, I have that image in my head, yes, of her like peering over him, yeah, you know, and mm-hmm. and I just love it for that, Dope. you know. And again, another one. Uh, which one is it, dude? Um, Annihilation. Uh, Annihilate. Uh, Annihilate. Yeah, yes. Metro Boomin, Sway Lee, Lil Wayne, and Offset. Um, and this actually kicks off the soundtrack. Yeah, it does. And it it's just... Fire. It's so good, man. Yeah. It's so good. And I can't remember what part this was at. Because there's about four or five yeah. that I really recognize. Uh-huh. You know, and... It, again, it just it fits so well, and I really do like this song. This is like one of my top favorite songs. Yeah. Is, is Annihilate Man? It's just, it's just so good. Then you have the next one down, which is I Am Dreaming with the um, 
has like the the little symphony part. Oh yeah, in my, yeah, in my dream, Metro yeah, Boomin, ASAP Rocky, dude. and Roycey. Yeah, man, dude, dude. Dude, 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 dude. this was oh, fire. Man, this was fire, yeah. man, and and definitely has great vibes. You know, you can even go down the line, man. Danger Spider with with Offset and JID, man. Um, Jid, man, it, it, it's it's like this soundtrack. Even for the stuff that didn't make the actual movie. Mm-hmm. Once you watch the movie and just listen to the soundtrack, right? It just feels like the movie. Oh yeah, man. It's, there's just elements of the soundtrack that go so well with, like, it, it'll start making you think of moments in the movie mm-hmm. just by listening to a song. Oh yeah, man. You know For what I mean? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it, it's it's just you know this is not really my cup of tea when it comes to music in general, right? But because it's a lot of the newer hip hop type sounds and right, stuff right. like that. But man, it's just so I have to give a shout out to Metro Boomin, man, for really kind of nailing down a particular cuz this has a particular sound to mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. And for better or for worse, it does have a cartoony sound to it. Like and but not in a bad way. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. like it does fit that it fits that mold it, it fits of mold. A soundtrack. It does. Right? And it what does. a soundtrack should be. Yeah. And not making it too hip hop too poppy, too right. R&B, too, you know, it just fits the mold of what the soundtrack should be. And I really applaud him for doing that. Yeah. I mean, look, man, and you got tracks like Home, right? Yeah. Don, Don Tolliver and, yeah. and Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. Yeah, that is, it's just like you listen to it, you're like, oh man, and you know, you know where you're going with it. When oh, you, yeah. Once you watch the movie, you know kind of where that fits in. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, all the way live, man. It's, uh, again, uh, uh, with, with Future, Lil Uzi Vert, mm-hmm. um, giving up, not the one, Don Tolliver, 21 Savage, and 2 Chains. Like this, this soundtrack, it really bleeds the movie. It right. really says, Across the Spider Verse, the you, the animation, the 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 scenes, the storylines, all this stuff that you get with this fire movie, Metro Boomin cooked up. Uh, what I think is really a perfect soundtrack to a movie. Mm-hmm. Soundtracks should resemble the movie. You yeah. should listen to the soundtrack. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah and yeah, you should sure. be like, man, yes, this is what it was. Mm-hmm. This is this is exactly how I felt. Right. This is you know what I mean? And and look, man, we come from the era of soundtracks of great soundtracks going up growing up in movies. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that we had another one, especially for a dope movie like this. Yeah, I, I'm I'm so excited because we don't really get these very often. Nah, Usually man. soundtracks are very score based, you know, very yeah. uh, cinematic sounding yeah, and stuff like yep. that, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I actually really like that for a particular movie. This fits this movie I like so the perfectly. Pop soundtrack, man, man, it's so good. And then it ends off with the Nas Morales, yeah, with our guy Nas, bro. Yeah. And I, I, you know what, man, what a good way to end off, it bro. Is, like it's just so good, man. I, I love hearing Nas. Uh, he's just in my top ten for sure. Yeah. Rappers of all time, man, for me. And I, again, this, this project is, will, will always be special to me yeah. because it's so tied it's heavily so tied with the movie. With the movie. Yep. And I love the movie so much. So we wanted to bring it to you guys and just let you know go check out this project. Yeah, just man. Spotlight it a little yeah, bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Go, check out the, go check out the project. If you haven't, go check out the movie if you haven't. And if you have done both, let us know what you guys think of the movie and the, the soundtrack. soundtrack. If you, yeah. Are you rocking with it? Yeah. Do you agree that it fits the movie or do you disagree? Let us know in the comments section below. You guys stay safe. You guys stay positive out there. And you know what? It's about what you've seen, but it's also about what you heard. Peace. Peace. 